the, the idea for the, for the Maker Faire uh, sign project stemmed out of wanting to take the, the Maker Faire logo and, and, and replicate it in a way that's, that epitomizes what it means to be a maker, to, to apply something creatively. And so this, this project stemming through how are, we gonna, how are we gonna get it to all culminate, but then also to show someone that the, every piece of this is handmade uh, kind of came together that way. The project was a, a collaboration between a, a host of makers, some of which will actually be here at Maker Faire. Um, other ones, we also involved some of the kids who frequent the, the museum here. So we had a chance that way to, to use both the people who we see on a daily basis and use those who we just get to see annually at Maker Faire. So originally the, the plan was just to have a camera and kind of hang it over a railing and be able to do you stop motion and show how the individual pieces go together. And the problem with that is you don't get to see the level of detail. You don't see that each one of those is handmade. So we're thinking through a way that we can get the camera to move in a fluid way and there's no other way to do that other than to use a drone. Uh, Bart was the only one that I've ever met that has a, who, who owns and operates a, uh, a drone that way and he's, he does some awesome work with his videography. Great question. What are makers? Makers, I would say, come in all shapes and sizes. Sometimes we see this on a daily basis. If I gave the analogy earlier, the, the analogy of we have maker spaces in our house and we don't even know them. It's called a kitchen. We have the tools and we have the materials needed to create something new. Um, that's all that it means to, to be in a maker space and to make something. Here at the museum we have them, in Columbia they have them, and it's, it's, it's prevalent around the world. There's maker spaces all over the place. Maybe they don't have the, the capability to work with some of the materials uh, in that space. We could think of this like maybe 3D printers or it might be something as simple as hammer and, and nails occasionally. Some people don't, don't have that much access to work that way. But given the materials and the tools in order to work that, people can create some pretty awesome stuff. And that's what we celebrate at Maker Faire. Who's Eddie? Eddie has been here for 12 years. Uh, the museum was actually built around Eddie. He came in on some tractor trailers and they actually built it around him. So he is just now 12 years old this year. So uh, the museum's been here and he's an exhibit piece that way. You can climb through him and find out about anatomy inside, both about the brain, the heart, the digestive system. And it's just a, it's a fun way to get kids engaged in learning about um, anatomy. anatomy. We, we joke at night that he runs around the city, but I don't know. It's getting pretty late and he's still here, so maybe, maybe, that's a, maybe this is permanent home.